वेलकम बैक गाइस टू आवर चैनल सो दिस इज माय मैक्सिमलिस्टिक डेस्क सेटअप एंड व्हिच इज क्वाइट ऑपोजिट द ट्रेंड ऑफ ऑफ व्हाट वी सी ऑन द इंटरनेट ऑन यूट्यूब पीपल आर मोर इनटू मिनिमलिज्म एंड दे शो देयर मिनिमलिस्टिक डेस्क सेटअप बट ऑन द अदर हैंड आई एम गोइंग टू शो माई मैक्सिमलिस्टिक डेस्क सेटअप दिस इज quite a you know chaotic this set up for some people but for me it is it is very very productive so i am going to go through whatever things i have on my desk and how it helps me to you know be productive and the work in a you can say in a very excited manner with it i can it, it make it, this this setup makes me excited every day when i whenever i come to work here this is in my bedroom actually so you can say my bedroom is studio come my desk setup uh, as you can see this is quite the unusual one because i have a lot of you know soft toys a uh, lot of you know you can say childish things here yes i am a child by heart and uh, so let me go one by one so here is one this is a sony noise cancellation uh, cancellation headphone uh, this is the budget one actually not the premium one which is the uh, industry leading this is this i got for around uh, 7000 rupees which is around 100 and 120 dollars and it's quite cheap and it does the job well for editing it is not like the top model which uh, uh, sony have very weird names for the headphones i don't remember that top model but that model is of course it's the best this is not that that good but it is uh, good enough for me it works for me and uh, it's the sound quality is not bad so it's a good one yeah the plastic quality is not so good i don't like this plastic feel but uh, it works for me and with that we have a headphone stand which i got from amazon and it's not groove made which is some which is very expensive this is i think this is custom built uh, and it was quite cheap i got it for uh, i guess 10 dollars which is very cheap and i like this wood finish uh, this matches to my overall you know desk walnut feeling desk and i like this desk a lot so uh, let me talk about the desk now this desk i got from uh, i got it from a local market actually and i got it for 80 dollars imagine 80 dollars yeah the finish is not so good it's not like you can say it's it's not an ikea desk or uh, some hi-fi uh, custom built you can say but this is good enough this has a lot of space here are my tripods uh, which i keep here there are some you can keep some things there in between your uh, in between the space and there's a good good enough storage and uh, i like the finish a lot this walnut finish this this is uh, this i i like wooden uh, wooden texture this makes me feel good uh it gives a premium feel even though it is not so premium and this is a thor marvel thor's uh coaster uh you know cup holder cup coaster i i guess what we see here and uh, this i got it from miniso miniso is a i think it's a chinese shop which sell japanese inspired products so they have a collab with marvel and this is a thor a very cute thor hammer uh, cup holder or coaster you can say this is quite uh, you know i like this one <laughs> it's i got it i don't remember the price exactly but yeah this is this was in not so expensive here i have my keyboard now the keyboard and mouse combo are from logitech and both are i i bought it in a combo it isn't a uh, rgb keyboard it isn't the hi-fi mechanical keyboard it is uh, quite cheap this is i got uh, this thing i got for is around 1000 rupees which is around uh, 
I would say not even properly. It, it's even it's 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 like fifteen to twenty dollars. The whole set, whole set I got. Uh, I like the keyboard. It's not bad for the price. It's clicky and it's good enough. Uh, and, uh, the mouse is also clicky. I like it a lot. This is a good one. Uh, it's small. My hands are very quite small, so I need a small. So I need a small mouse. So it's good enough for me, and I like it. And I don't need RGB. I am not such a fan of RGB while I'm editing. Yeah, it is useful when you are gaming while you are gaming or editing at night. But it works for me. I have good enough light, and I do have RGB LED lights behind my PC. uh behind my monitor i mean uh i have here for example i will show you here i have stick it here this this rgb is light strip which i got for around 10 dollars from amazon and it's uh, it i just st stuck it out here in behind my monitor and it glows it has a good enough light and you can change colors and all it's not smart but it can it has a good enough option for changing colors and all so i like it uh, so i don't need a lot of light at night so that is why i have a very basic keyboard and a basic mouse which looks are uh, very simple and talking about the monitor which is the main part of this this setup uh, you can see this monitor is a 27 inch lg lg monitor uh this monitor i got it again from amazon my 90% of my things which i purchase is from amazon because during the pandemic it's it was very hard to go outside and buy this is a 27 inch quad hd uh lg monitor uh, it it supports hdr10 and uh, it has srgb i guess till 99% which is perfect for me it's good enough for me for my editing videos and all so uh, it's a good one i like the colors of this monitor and uh, i got it for a discount i guess it's around 20000 rupees which is around uh, uh, around around 250 300 dollars i guess uh, i don't know the exact conversion uh, conversion but yeah that's the monitor you can see quite uh, i like the uh, border borderless feel of this monitor it's not like the uh, fat I don't like fat, you know, uh, bezels. So I like this one. It's quite good. And uh, here, uh, you can see I also have some accessories. Uh, I use a Bose TWS, which is a wireless earphone. Uh, these and a Bose uh, Bluetooth speaker. Uh, I connect it with laptop when I need to use it, or I use my headphone when needed. So head, uh, I have speakers also and headphones also. and uh, this is TWS this is i usually use it for workout and all it's a uh, it's a cheap quite a cheap one i like it i've used a lot in the in the during my workouts and uh, i have one fake plant because the real plant uh, always dies and uh, to be honest real uh, real plants are very hard to maintain and uh, so a fake plant always does good and also it adds greenery to the work environment which help 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 increase productivity in your desk setup so i i would recommend having something green on your desk something a fake plant would also suffice now i also have to uh, you know pen holders or you can say stationary holders uh, i have to because i have a lot of stationery as you can see and i like this one this is a walnut finish uh this matches with the you know quite uh it it looks good in the in this on on this desk this too i don't know where i got it from i think it's a gift from some relative or someone so i don't know the price or where i got it from so that is uh, the pen holder now i do want to show you what <laughs> the, the funny things which i have behind my monitor and the desk setup is the panda a bulldog a snoopy a kangaroo kangaroo i would say that uh, uh, so this four toys are my you know childish uh, you can say my child childish behavior coming out 
these are like my editing buddies you can say they you know give me moral support while i'm editing i love them a lot uh, it doesn't make me feel alone and uh, it's a, it's funny it, it makes the work uh, work more fun simply put it like that and i do also have some uh, this uh, mcdonald's toys this bulbasaur from uh, pokemon uh, and this i don't know which cartoon is this uh but i also do have this uh i don't remember which cartoon is this but yeah i do have a lot of toys from mcdonald's days when i used to have happy meal and then i have a card holder with uh, cards in there and i play cards sometimes uh, quite uh, not not so quite often but yeah i do have a card holder here uh and then this is what it looks uh, looks like the whole uh, desk uh, i've gone through the whole thing except this mat this i got for 5 dollars from amazon again this this is not so premium feel but it works for me it's quite soft so this is good one this mouse pad uh and then i also have my photos of uh, photo of my family okay my mom and dad and me and uh okay coming to the final part i do have a you know neon kind of you know neon kind of cloud light which looks absolutely awesome at night uh, so i do have that and uh, this is my laptop uh, i have two laptops actually this one is for you know i do i i do editing i i not i don't do editing in this i write my scripts in this and you know do emails and stuff and internet browsing basically or watch netflix this is my basically entertainment consumption laptop research laptop you can say it's a i3 processor 8 gb ram very uh, not so fast i would say but you know it works for me it's small it's portable so i like that like that uh, feature of that uh, of this laptop and uh, it's okay it's not so good but the uh, other laptop i have is the acer predator uh, it's a i7 with 2070 so that is what i use for editing it has 16 gigs of ram so it's good for editing and gaming but i'm not so high fi editing but yeah, it works 4k editing is fine on that acer predator here i have a small basketball uh, uh, small basket for my basketball hoop which you can see behind the lights which i play with it uh, when i feel so to pass time and again some more toys some uh, there are some more toys of uh, uh, soft toys i have some you know funny some <laughs> crazy soft toys and uh, again i have some you know things accessories small small accessories interesting there's my uh, fiber router out there as you can see and uh, hey i think i have gone through the whole this setup by now yeah at night it looks absolutely amazing this whole this setup at night looks absolutely amazing i i am going to tell you right now so let's switch to the night version of this desk setup in one Two, three. So I hope you like the night look of this desk setup. It looks as a, as a, as you saw just right now. It looks absolutely awesome. It is amazing to walk at night and edit videos at night. So we have come. I guess we have come to the end of this video. and before that i want to show you two two other things which i missed which is one is the scented candles i think it's very important to have scented candles again this is from mini so and i think it's very important to have scented candles on your desk because you know it creates a mood it's great it creates it gives a vibe it it has a very positive smell and it makes the workplace more you know you will you are willing to work more uh productively if you have a nice scent in your uh in your space 
and another is this prism which i have i love this thing because it's very good for photography and it's it also has a dual purpose it is also used as a paper holder and plus it's used for photography and reflections and lighting so i like this thing uh so yeah so this is what i have and so hope hope you guys like my maximalistic desk setup not minimalistic which is uh which might irk some minimalistic people because minimalism is a trend on the youtube nowadays but i thought to show my maximalist maximalistic uh, approach to my desk setup uh, some some people might hate this totally hate this because they can't you know they can't have this chaos on their desk for them it's chaos for me it's organized chaos organized uh, love i love this desk setup because uh, this makes me feel like there's a lot of things going on it's it's interesting it's not so boring i i like minimalism it's good but i th i think minimalism gets boring after some time but this this setup will not be boring at all even though some people might hate it i love it and i am sure some people also would appreciate this kind of desk setup so thank you guys thank you for tuning in and uh, to consider you know subscribing to my channel to our channel actually my name is ramit mujumdar and i also have two people who are working on this channel with me together uh, who whose name is uh, ambar chakrabarty and yash god so subscribe for more videos like this we have a lot of short films on our channel and uh, a lot of uh, interesting stuff like editing videos anything related to film making and photography we have it all so do consider subscribing uh, see you later take care goodbye